Mathematics 5, Quarter 2, Week 4, Lesson 4. Revised K-12 Curriculum, Lesson Exemplar Based. Our topic is about decimal numbers with decimal parts up to 10 thousandths. Our learning competencies are Convert terminating decimals to fractions and vice versa. Second, compare and order decimal numbers with decimal parts two thousandths. Number three, round decimal numbers to the nearest hundreds and thousands. For our day one, our topic is about converting a terminating decimal into a fraction. Now for our review, let's do this matching type of test. Match answers in column A to the items in column B. So number 1, 7 over 10 in decimal form is. Number 2, 7 over 100 in decimal form is. Number 3, 68 and 23 hundredths round off to the nearest tenth is equal to. Number 4, 68 and 23 hundredths rounded off to the nearest ones is number five arranging zero and twenty hundreds zero and forty five hundreds and one and twenty five hundreds in ascending order is number six zero and twenty hundreds zero and forty five hundreds one and twenty five hundreds in descending order is so you have to find the answers in column b this is to test whether you have already these ideas about converting fractions to decimal or vice versa or rounding off decimal numbers how do you write six over one thousand into decimal form this week, we will learn concepts related to decimal numbers with decimal parts up to 10 thousandths. Now let's unlock some vocabulary. Decimal. It comes from the Latin word decimus, which means tenth. A fraction whose denominator is a power of 10 is known as a decimal fraction. These fractions are those with denominator of 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000. Terminating decimal number is a decimal in which the digits after the decimal point terminate or stops at a certain number. Comparing numbers means determining whether a number is greater than, less than, or equal to another number. Ordering numbers means arranging the numbers from least to greatest or greatest to least. Ascending order means from lowest to highest, while descending order means from highest to lowest. Rounding off numbers is used in estimation. The symbol is read as is approximately equal to round up means add one to the rounding digit now let's have our topic convert decimal to fraction converting a decimal into a fraction is a process it involves looking at the number of decimal places the decimal has and putting the decimal part as the numerator and the denominator as a power of 10 with the same number of zeros as there are decimal places. This converts a decimal into a decimal fraction, a fraction where the denominator is a power of 10. Let's have example number one. Convert 0 and 765,000 to fraction. Now for our solution, our numerator of the fraction is the decimal part of 0 and 765 so this becomes our numerator and of course the denominator is equal to the number of decimal places so look at the zeros 
there should be a equal number of zeros and number of decimal places so in zero and seven hundred sixty five thousands there are three decimal places so that means there should be also three zeros in the denominator so our denominator is one thousand now let's learn more about it example number two convert zero and two thousand five hundred and eighty seven ten thousands to fraction so again the decimal number becomes our numerator and count the number of decimal places one two three four that should be equal to the number of zeros in our denominator so our answer is 2587 over 10,000 in fraction form example number three convert 25 and 18 thousands to fraction in this example the decimal is converted to a mixed number the whole number part which is 25 in the decimal number is also the whole number part in the mixed number the numerator is written as 18 instead of 0 18 since there are three decimal places the denominator is 1000 in which there are three zeros as well so 25 and 18 thousands is equal to 25 and 18 over 1000 now let's have example number four convert 576 over 1000 to decimal now it's the reverse fraction to decimal 576 over 1000 is equal to so just copy the numerator and it becomes our decimal and then don't forget the decimal point three zeros means three decimal places so that's it one two three now for number five convert eight and four to three over one thousand to decimal eight which is the whole number part in decimal fraction is also the whole number part in the decimal the numerator which is 43 is the decimal part of the decimal and since there are three zeros that means there should be three decimal places so you just have to annex or add zero before the number 43 so 8 and 43 over 1000 is equal to 8 and 43 thousands or 8.043 converting a decimal fraction to decimal converting a fraction whose denominator is a power of 10 and that means it's a decimal fraction to decimal involves counting the zeros in the denominator to convert the decimal fraction to fraction copy the numerator then write it as a decimal with the same number of decimal places as a number of zeros in the denominator now let's have the topic converting a fraction in which the denominator is a factor of 10 or 100 to decimal convert one half to decimal now let's rename the fraction to a tenth by multiplying both numerator and denominator by 5 or multiply the fraction by 5 over 5 in order to make the fraction have a denominator which is a factor of 10. So 1 half is equal to 1 times 5 equals 5, 2 times 5 equals 10 and that should be when we change it to a decimal it becomes 0 and 5 tenths therefore 1 half is equal to 0 and 5 tenths now let's have example number 7 convert 2 fifths to decimal as for our solution let's multiply 2 fifths by 2 over 2 to make it a fraction with a power of 10 so 2 times 2 equals 4 5 times 2 equals 10 or 0 and 4 tenths. Example number 8. 
Convert 3 over 20 to decimal. Solution. 3 over 20 equals, let's multiply it by 5 over 5 to have a denominator with a power of 10. So that means 3 times 5 equals 15. 20 times 5 equals 100. Or in decimal, it's equal to 0 and 15 hundreds. Example number 9. Convert 5 over 10 to decimal. 5 over 50, let's multiply it by 2 over 2. That means 5 times 2 equals 10. 50 times 2 equals 100. Or 10 over 100. Or 0 and 10 hundredths. Now in some cases or some fractions, this might not be the case always. So in some fractions which cannot be multiplied by a certain fractions in order to arrive with a denominator that has a power of 10, let's just simply divide the numerator by the denominator in order to convert it into decimal. Again, divide the numerator by the denominator, then you will get the decimal number. Now for our work example, let's have letter A convert the following numbers into decimals or fractions. Number 1, 891 over 1000, that means that is equal to 0 and 891 thousands. Now for number 2, 5632 over 10 thousands, it's equal to Again, the numerator becomes our decimal number. Just add the decimal point. So it's equal to 5,632 ten thousandths. The number of decimal places is equal to the number of zeros in the denominator. For number 3, 0 and 142 ten thousandths is equal to, we have the numerator 142, and our denominator should have four zeros because the number of decimal places is equal to four. Number four, we have zero and 235 thousandths. In fraction form, it is 235. Now number four, zero and 235 thousandths is equal to, our numerator is 235 and denominator should have three zeros because there are three decimal places. So that means we have 235 over 1000. Lastly, number five, one and 982,000. So one will become our whole number. 982 is our numerator and our denominator is 1000. There are three zeros because there are three decimal places. Now let's convert the following fractions to decimals. Number one, three fourths, that is equal to 75 over 100. How? We multiply three fourths by 25 over 25 to get a denominator with a power of 10. So three times 25, is equal to 75. 4 times 25 equals 100. 75 over 100, we have 0 and 75 hundreds. Now for number 2, 6 over 25, let's multiply it by 4 over 4. 6 times 4 will have 24, and 25 times 4 is equal to 100. So therefore, 24 over 100 will have a decimal. 0 and 24 hundredths. Number 3, 6 over 50. So what number that can be multiplied by 50, that will result to a denominator with power of 10, just like 100. Now let's multiply it by 2. So whatever we multiply with the denominator should be also multiplied with the numerator. So let's have 2 over 2. 6 times 2 equals 12. 50 times 2 equals 100, so we have 12 over 100. Or in decimal, it's 0 and 12 hundredths. Number 4, 7 over 100. 
so it's already a denominator with the power of 10 so let's just make it a decimal so since there are two zeros there should be also two decimal places and seven is only one then we have to put zero on the tenth place because seven is on hundreds place at this point it's your turn to answer the following directions convert the following numbers into either decimals or fractions so number one 920 over 1000 equals blank number two 53 over 100 converted to decimal number three zero and nine thousand seven hundred thirty two ten thousands converted to fraction number four zero and six hundred five thousands is equal to what fraction number five three and ninety six hundreds is equal to what fraction now thank you for watching your guide towards learning teacher itv like share and subscribe